Hi, I'm Jean-Pierre Talbot, SC for SonicWall in Canada, and in this video, I will do a VPN between a SonicWall and a third-party firewall. Here, I will pick a watch card. So I'll show you how to do VPN between two different brands of firewall because, of course, SonicWall is following the IPsec standard. So as long as you have something else as a firewall or a device that actually support IPsec standard and just follow the standard, just like a watch card here, well, you will be able to build a VPN. Of course, it will be of a challenge because it's kind of like hunting all the settings. You need to ensure that every single settings of phase one, phase two authentication, encryption, PFS, DFDF element, all of this, they, perf they must perfectly match. So it's easy between two sonic wall because, well, everything is at the same place. You put them next to each other and you make sure it match. But when you get to something else, well, of course the UI is not the same. And here I, had issues to trying to build a VPN using Ike V2. It just never worked. After an hour, I just give up. And most likely the issue is those under the WatchGuard, not the WatchGuard itself. It's just this one is a old unit and the firmware is from 2017, which is almost six years old. So that's the type of issue you may get if you're trying to do a VPN with a unit with a new firmware and with a unit a with a very old firmware. So in that case, I don't know why I V2 didn't want to work. So again, I'm sure if I put the latest firmware on the WatchGuard, it will probably work. Um, but what I did here, which is also something I'll mention that I do most of the time when I try to build a VPN, I always start with good encryption, the latest and greatest on everything. Sometimes it doesn't work like it did here, most likely again, not watch guard fault it's the fault of a super old firmware but what i do in that case i just start to roll down like okay not gonna do ig v2 we'll just go to ig v1 and then try less encryption until i manage to get it to work of course best is always switch to another sonic wall with the latest firmware you make sure you can put you can use all the latest and greatest you could add sd1 on top and plenty of other cool stuff like this but here, I figured it's a common question I get. So let's cover um, side to side between two different uh, firewalls. So here, uh, we'll first start with uh, Sonic Wall. So we'll, you know, we have our VPN here working with the, the other Sonic Wall, the TZ Sonic Wall. So let's click on add. I will add the side to side. Here, it's going to be VPN to WatchGuard. WatchGuard, I will give it this IP, we'll use password123, show it here, password123, um, cut and paste this, so here will be this, local will be 100, right, because my local external IP is 100, WatchGuard will get 50. Network, it's going to be x0 subnet, my subnet. And because I tried previously, I did watch a, um, I already created a uh, address group, an address object called WG remote and subnet is 192.168.16.0 um, slash 24. So if I go here to create a uh, new object, I'm not going to do it, but it would have been VPN network 192.168. 16, which is the internal network of the watch guard slash zero with a 255, 255, 255, zero. So that's what I did here. I'll just hit cancel and pick that address object I already created. So proposal, I know it didn't work with uh, IGV2, so I'll do IGV1. IGV1, if you do have fixed IP addresses on both ends, you go with main mode. If you do have uh, fix one end with a fixed IP, the other one with a dynamic IP, then you need to pick aggressive. So here I have picked that both have, um, uh, both are on um, fixed IP, so it's going to be main mode. And we'll need to find everything so it match all this on the, uh, on the watch guard. So I don't know what watch guard will be able to do. Maybe there are some that are in there that we won't do or vice versa. So we'll leave it as is for now. We'll, we'll figure that out uh, later. So it's save. And before I move behind the uh, watch guard, one thing that I always find smart to do is to print screen the settings because I'm going to move myself behind the watch guard. Then I'm, I'll be like, well, what's the setting on the Sonic? Well, I don't know. So 
Let's go here and proposal and print screen that. And I have it print screened here. So now let's move myself behind the WatchGuard and see what settings we can match. WatchGuard management interface is through this application. I know WatchGuard quite well. I've worked for them for seven years. So I know that where settings are roughly, right? Because I told you, you see all those settings here. We need to perfectly match them. So it's a hide and seek play game here where you need to find where those settings are on the other firewall. So uh, as you can see here, SonicWall, it's phase one, phase two. That's something very common with other brand of firewall. Um, WatchGuard did branch off his gateway as phase one and tunnel as phase two. So that's just, you know, again, trying to find where things are in the other firewall to match it. So that's Ike, that's, uh, Ike, that's phase, phase one. So we click on add, we can name it gateway to sonic wall pre-share key remember i did password one two three so we've done that here I'll just move it back here um next here we need to add our ip addresses so here we're doing it with fixed ip addresses so local ip the external ip i've put on that firewall was 142 39 1950 and I wanted to connect to the external IP of the NSA 3700 which is 142.39 whoops 142.39.19 100 140 I'll get it 142.39.19 100 save time I'll just cut and paste here so remember that was the same thing where we say which IP address we connect and then the what we advertise right local my local Ike ID and remote peer Ike ID something like this so that's what we set here and see here phase one so that's helpful we know that phase one they have here is what we need to match here so let's edit what they have Authentication, authentication, SHA-1, authentication here, SHA-1, so one down. Encryption, triple des. Encryption, I'm on AES-128, so let's change for AES-128. Then we do have SA life, lifetime in second, okay, it's in hours. Okay, let's do the math. Eight hours times 60 for minute times 60 for seconds. Well, it match. Eight hours is 2,800, 2,800, 28,800 seconds. And Diffie Hellman Group 2, Diffie Hellman Group 2. So, phase one, we are good to go. Next, we do phase two, which is in branch office tunnel. Add, name it tunnel to sonic wall. Here, addresses, right? Remember the IP address, what we have into the network tab here? Well, it's here. Again, you need to find and hunt down where settings are. So local for WatchGuard is 192.168.16. Whoops, type in at the right place. 192.168.16.0 slash 24. And remote is the sum that behind the head office firewall. It's 192, 168, 100, 0, slash 24. So this to this, that's good. Phase two is here. So we need to match phase two here. And this we cannot edit. So let's remove, add, and create one. So type ESP protocol ESP sounds like a match authentication SHA1 authentication we're at none so let's see yeah they do have none so that's good encryption AES G is you mentioned 16 I don't think they yeah they don't have this so I'll need to go back on the sonic wall to change for just AES 256 and lifetime 28,800 28,000 so we're good so let's save this save that and save to the firewall and then we'll need to change the firewall so that here is AES 256 and password
Okay, well, let's connect behind the sonic wall and change that setting here. So that's my VPN with WatchGuard. It's down. And it was proposal here. See, AS256. So that should help us. And save that. Oh, and gateway here, that's not gonna work, that's for sure. 192, yep. Trying to go too fast, right? 142, 39, 1950, that would be much better. And local is 100. So I don't know if some of you catched it, but uh, if you did, congrats. Okay, so let's move myself behind the watch guard and try. So it's trying to get my ping going. One ping down. Sometimes you lose one before it starts. And we're not having a VPN. So then that's the fun of building VPN with other firewalls. So you need to find out what you did wrong. Well, it might just have been the cable was unplugged a bit. You know that little pin that we break all the time and we should garbage that cable and not use it? Well, I don't. I just had to push it back a bit. The light come back on. So we'll try again. Oh, here we go. We do have a VPN. Okay. So that's the challenge of building a VPN between two different uh, brand of firewall. You really need to hunt down each setting and trying to find where is that setting hidden. So it might be quite a challenge. And to be honest, that's one of the reasons why I always suggest to always have one brand of firewall and only use that one because it's so faster to set it up. You haven't seen it in the video, but it took me over an hour to give up on Ike V2 and just move to Ike V1 and to get the VPN working. So that's always those challenge that you'll keep having, but it most likely is because the WatchGuard was running, is running a firmware that is almost six years old. So most likely it. Um, but that being said, always easier when you have uh, one single brand of, um, of firewall to do your VPN. So that being said, I think that concludes that video. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.